Neil Finn and Nick Seymour of Crowded House. Now, which part of Down Under are you from? Because I know I'm going to say it wrong, and I'm totally going to well, offend he's, you. He's from New Zealand, I'm from Australia. Because, um, you know, it's like people sort of lump the two together. But yeah. if you're a Kiwi, you get really offended. Well, Kiwis go, do. Actually, go, Australians do too. No. Nick, Nick gets very sensitive. I do not. New Zealand. You do so. It happens all the time recently. Only because I've been to New Zealand and I see how we're treated there. No, he gets all sort of <laughs> picky and pedantic. Come and on now. No cat no. fights here. No. Now, New Zealanders are a little defensive because ch traditionally Australia beats them at sport and, and New Zealanders... Because we are stronger. And footy? Uh, more it's like numerous. the toughest sport in the world and... Yeah, less brains, more brawn. I hear you. We are stronger. Stronger race. I was going to say something. But... Now, you guys actually went to New Zealand to record this album. Yes, we did. And then you've recorded all the other ones in L.A.? Most of the rest of them in L.A. or between Melbourne and Los Angeles, yeah. Yeah. And, uh... We, we just fancied a change of environment, and uh, I'm a New Zealander, and I never recorded there before, and it seemed a bit odd after this long making record, yeah. so. Uh, we found a great house by the sea, and with some epic landscape out the window, and uh, violent changes of weather, and uh, dangerous ocean, and it seemed like a good place cool. to bring the, uh, bring the old emotions out Dang. to the surface. That's right. It was. There was an element of danger. We were barefoot for the entire record project, and we had to build a road. You know, well. with our bare feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walking over broken glass. To get into the studio, we actually had to build a road. That's so cool, though. Um, well, now, it's really hard work, actually. Why do they call really those cool. blue stone, those little chips of stone, blue metal? I don't know, Nick. You I don't know what me. the hell you're talking about, Nick. I wanted call? to talk about your record, do dear. Do they only call it that in Australia? Well, look, blue metal. I, well, perhaps. But you've just enlightened us to... Another, okay. Another He's not with me. Perhaps some people could phone in and tell us why they call it blue metal. Call now. 666. Um, no, but you, you recorded in this strange... The place you recorded had a strange name. Carry Carry. It looks like Care Care. Well, I know. That's why we were going to call the album Carry Carry for a while, but then we thought we'd have to explain to people like you how to say it. Yeah. And we didn't think that would be fun. Call the new album Care Care. <laughs> we got the song of the same name. We're strong on record, care, care. Um, But Together Alone is a perfectly ample record title. Yeah. It's an ample record title. It's an ample record. It is indeed. I listened to it. Yeah. Very playable. <laughs> a... It's good. It works. Amply? Amply. <laughs> you can say that, can't yeah, you? Yeah, no, I think it's a better title because it also slightly describes the business of recording down there. We were all these um, people from different corners of the globe. We had a producer from Brixton. What's and that? Uh, and uh, Brixton is a suburb mm -hmm. of London, mm -hmm. a very f sort of funky, downtrodden suburb of London. Mm -hmm. And we brought him across to the other side of the world and, and uh, it blew his mind, I think. He was wandering around in a daze with these divining rods for the first three days, trying to figure out where the ley lines were. You know, divining rods can, uh, can also double as speculums if you really need them to. Really? <laughs> yeah. Excuse my ignorance, what is a speculum? You don't want to know now. Huh? <laughs> I'll tell you during the break. No, please, Stick elaborate. around, we're going to talk more with uh, Crowded House, Neil and Nick, and we're going to play their video and do all sorts of stuff, so Take it. keep it here. And you put it. Nick Seymour, Neil Finn of Crowded House. Fourth album. Yes. Together the pivotal alone. fourth. Yeah, indeed. What does that mean, the pivotal fourth? Because, like, the second's always the big one. It's the first, you guys' first album was like, No, oh. they say that about all the albums, really. I was just saying that for a laugh. <laughs> just because you wanted to they're all, they're all just as important as each other and all just as likely to succeed or fail, I suppose. So, um, yeah. But by the time you get to a fourth album, I think you've, your, your audience that you've kept with you understands you quite well. Yeah. And I think it's time at that point to sort of uh, forge off in a new area for them, give them something new to listen to. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah. You worked with this guy, Youth, from Killing Joke. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a nut from Brixton in London. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we went to the, the far corners of the corner of the globe, which is Karakari Beach in New Zealand, mm -hmm. and uh, so everything about the making of the record was completely different, basically, which was good. Because you guys were known for being more of a guitar thing, and well, sort, sort of, of, not really, no. <coughs> oh, I don't know what we're known for. It's a big mystery to us, actually, how we're perceived. But I think there's actually more guitar on this record. We got Mark Hart, a new member in the band. He's been touring with us for a long time, but it's his first. That's album. Mark Hart for you Americans. <laughs> Mark Hart. Mark, Mark Hart. Hart. You almost sound like you're from Boston. Go to South Africa. It's Mark Hart. Hart. Mark Hart. But, um, it's Mark Hart. Yeah. <laughs> His name does it lends itself to any culture. But he came in and he played a lot of guitar on the record, so there was two guitars on a lot of the rhythm tracks, and yeah. he also played a bit of slide guitar. And some slide guitar is cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, go ahead. Okay. Make fun of my vernacular. Sorry. A little. Sorry, I That's like okay. slide guitars. I'll kill you when you. No, they it. are good actually. They're lapsed. We had this guy in Auckland who lent us all his slide guitars, and he and Mark played them and learned how to play them during the course of the album. And when this guy heard the record, he said, "You're not going to put that out, are you?" I mean, you can't put that out. It's out of tune. He's playing out of tune. Every slide player in the world will well, cringe well, no. when they hear that. Really? Yeah. So, you know. Sounded cool to me. Yeah, well, it sounded okay to me, too, but, you know. Damn near, and the kids will love it. The yeah. kids. You, you got the hits on there, in the addition kids. to the well-written song. You got yeah. the pop, you've got, got that them. pop sensibility there, Camille. Well, they've said. You little songwriter. He is. That, well, can you put that in Try writing for me? Can... Yeah, indeed. I'll tell you one thing. We're here. I couldn't stop talking to them, and I'm not gonna, because Crowded House is gonna be back Mr. Jones is up next from County Crows, so stay here. Yeah. Hey, Kennedy talking to Neil and Nick. They're going to be playing a little bit later. They, of course, Neil Finn, Nick Seymour, hello, from Crowded House, are going to be playing a little song. What are you going to play later? What are you uh, we're going to do Private Universe oh, off the album. That song, see now, talk about, if now if we're pointing out hits. Mm, <laughs> no, that's mm, your mm. hit, that one. Now, if, right there. If, if those were bowling pins, and, and a hit record would be if you got a strike, yeah. you'd have knocked them all over the place. Well, I mean, There'd be no bowling pins left standing. I know I'm, that doesn't make any sense, but to me, it's like... Do you bowl? No, it's a good analogy. <laughs> I'm struggling with it, but it's a good analogy. <laughs> he doesn't bowl much. I'm, um, I'm, we, I mean, I, we've been I'd telling him... I don't you for a bowler. No, I'm a bowler. I've bowled. Actually, you're not a bad bowler. Paul's a good bowler, our drummer. Naked Paul? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the few things he can do adequately. Yeah? Yeah, drum, drumming's all right. He's a good drummer, too. I hear he makes a good mushu pork. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he, he, he's watched a few people make them on TV, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he can't do it. <laughs> he does a good stir fry. Yeah. Yeah, he cleans a good house too. He's absolutely obsessively clean and the, the rule is in Crowded House, as all bands, that whoever's not here deserves it to be slagged off and will be. Yeah. And Paul Hester is obsessively clean. I think it's a problem, actually. You know what you got to do? De-louse him? Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Perhaps. A man with too many lice on his body can be a problem. Mm. If my father were in a rock and roll band that toured, um, I think I'd get a sense of longing. And, uh, and I'd long for my father. Neil, you have two kids? Yeah. Do they, d does it... Do they does long, family, long for family... your father? I don't think they do. <laughs> they long for me, perhaps. <laughs> They're like, we're kids, he's pappy. No, um, but does being a dad, is that starting to overshadow the band thing? Oh, well, I mean, they both overshadow each other at various <laughs> times, and it's really hard to get the right balance, but, um, yeah, I mean, I look I for... Thought, I thought you meant both your kids. <laughs> no, both overshadow me. No, they're... Yeah. they're no, my, I, yeah, they're not here, unfortunately, this time. They do come sometimes. I, we do the big family, Partridge family thing sometimes and take everybody on the road. Do you take Danny Bonaducci? Well, he actually <laughs> was backstage at a split ends gig once. Um, in, in a severe state of inebriation, he had to be thrown out. <laughs> oh my, are you serious? Yeah, down the yeah, seriously, the bouncers <laughs> turfed him out. Oh, that is so me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like exactly. That's why you're getting thrown out of here, you little That's redhead true. punk. Um, he was. I think the phrase "beat you like a redheaded stepchild." But he survived, doesn't he? I mean, he survived better than a couple of those people. Oh, he just had a fight for charity with Donny Osmond for crying out loud. Did he? Oh, that's not surviving. That's not right. Well, it's hardly surviving. The album is called Together Alone. It's Crowded House. It's our fourth album. New Zealand, Australia. They're from that part of the country, so you know it's got to be good. I mean, come on now. Who else has come from Australia? Oh, Midnight Oil? Know. Yeah, Midnight Oil. Kylie Minogue? The Church. Um, the Church? Yeah. The Church? Um, in Excess. In Excess. All there you go. People. You got your In Excess. So, but the most important thing is they have a new album out, Together Alone. They're going to play next on The Nation, but go out and buy the record and see them because you guys are going to come to American Tour, right? We're yeah. touring here in March, April. March, April. So go out and see that. Oh, you, you, said that like, you said that like a, <laughs> know. an Australian. March, April. I know. Who, me Stay or her? here. No. Crowded House is going to play next. Thanks for coming by and talking to us. Yeah, it's a pleasure. We'll see you play in a couple minutes. Stay here.